Three, forgot about Dre. All right, now let's send it right over to our Midtown chat room. John Norris is standing by with ACDC. Johnny, there? Yeah, Dave, thanks a lot, man. Hey You're here with Brian and Angus. Just oh, getting my. into Eminem and Dre, right? You guys are big uh, rap fans. You know that, uh, that kind I of thing? I can't even spell rap. <laughs> W was the only aspect. I'm, I'm useless. We're uh, we're sitting here. The rest of the guys are checking out what's happening online. Are you? I understand that you guys are actually uh, pretty uh, computer savvy. You have computers at home. You check out online a lot. Uh, well, the lads do. They're pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not. Not really. Not no. really into it. No. No. Take like the rap. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's me by. You went straight up the top of me. When you go online, you <laughs> you tend to see a lot of stories and and like rumors about the band. Are you finding some pretty uh, entertaining stuff from people today? You think? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's been some, there's been some fun questions, you know. There's always a, right. some daft ones, you know. But it's fun laughing. Them. But we have a fabulous crew working for us, as you can see. Of course. And uh, of course. so send your phone calls and send those checks rolling in. Thanks. Meantime, online actually provided you guys with something very cool. Recently on eBay, they auctioned off a guitar lesson with you, Angus, and it went for something like twenty over twenty-eight thousand dollars, right? That's right. And I've got it right here. Is that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it just went right into your charity, your personal charity, did it? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I actually, went to Nordoff Robbins Music Therapy, a very, very cool charity. Yeah, How did right. the uh, guitar lesson go? It was great. Uh, the guy had a lot of fun. You know, we had a lot of fun. And uh, we done a few other things with him. He got to play with with the guys, you know, done a few tracks. Yeah. I think he played Highway to Hell with uh, Yeah, some, awesome. Uh, young Weird, he's called from. Yeah, yeah. Young Weird from Seattle. Seattle. Yeah. Hi Highway to Hell, one of the songs that people are voting on today. Do you have any idea which one people are going to choose for you guys to play at 4.30 uh, today? Um, How's the voting going? Yeah. I think Back in Black was ahead by a couple of smidges. Yeah. All right, well, it's a close and, uh, close race there, so if you a have a preference. Head, yeah. if you got a preference. <laughs> Meantime, I should mention it's at MTV Week. Of all the bands who've been here all week long, their album releases combined have not equaled the 17 albums you guys have put out. Of course, Stiff Upper Lip entering the charts next week here in the States at number seven. Congratulations yeah, on that. So much to be That's yeah, a good one. Right, yeah. Thanks to everybody that got it. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Yeah. After a five-year break, do you, do you wonder if people are still going to be interested if they're still going to be there or is it uh, well it's... for us you know rock and roll there's always you know a place for rock and roll and uh, we i think yeah if it even if it ain't us you know if it's even young guys who, who who pick up on what you do or get inspired by what you do you'll always have rock and roll Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And we're definitely, hey. definitely going to have some today at 4.30 at MTV. We continues. A lot of people are excited yes. because ACDC will be here in the studio playing the songs you guys want. Dave, let's check in with you one more time. Uh, thank you very much. This yeah. studio is going to be blown away in uh, just about 20, 25 minutes, something like that. ACDC rocks indeed. ACDC at MTV coming up. Welcome back to TRL. We're counting down the top 10 most requested videos of the day. Now, 4.30, don't forget, ACDC at MTV. We're all very excited about that. They're just tuning up their instruments, and my hair actually was blown back. On the phone right now, Kevin from the Backstreet Boys. Hello, Kevin. Hey, what's up? All right, I want to say what's up to ACDC. Oh, my God. I'm a big fan of that. I'll pass that right along, Kevin. I thought you just said hello. They're the I coolest guys in the whole 1989, my senior year in high school. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. I will totally pass that along. They're very, very nice guys. Wait until you see the show. It's going to blow you away. Cool. Uh dun, da -da -dun, da -da -dun, da -da -dun. Oh, yeah. Today, history is being made right here at the MTV studios. The crowd is massive outside and inside. And not for Joey, Chris, Justin, Lance, and JC. No, no. For the original boy band. Brian, Phil, Cliff, Malcolm, and Angus. Yes, it's true. ACDC is at MTV for our final day of at MTV Week, which means MTV and MTV.com are both about to rock. This band has influenced everyone from Rage Against Machine to the Beastie Boys. Today, they're gonna play whatever you pick. But right now, in their first TV performance anywhere since 1996, ladies and gentlemen, performing the title track off their new album, please welcome, with stiff upper lip, ACDC. On a 
bit of a trip Looking for thrills To give me some kicks Now I want you ladies Deep from the hip I was bound with a stiff Stiff up a lip Like a dog Thunk that uh, would be playing <laughs> rock and roll in the hallowed halls of hip hop. That's true. <laughs> Come on. You're Whoa. bringing the rock and roll back. How did everybody enjoy it? You feel it? <laughs> How does it feel to, uh, to perform on the same stage as In Sync? Is that an exciting thing for you? Oh yeah, I'll take it home afterwards. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, all right, now congratulations on the success of uh, Stiff Upper Lip. It just debuted at number seven on That's Billboard, right, yeah, yeah. which is amazing. People are calling it a comeback. What yeah. made you uh, want to get back into the studio and uh, yeah. start rocking again? Yeah. Well, it's just uh, you know we've been busy with the uh, the boys have been busy with the uh, compilation album for Bond. Yeah, and so it took a little longer, and uh, yeah. everybody started getting itchy. Yeah, yeah. 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 just got to see to start the music again and uh, <laughs> enjoy it. You know? Had to get back in there. You betcha. Yeah. And uh, did you decide to stick with the classic ACDC formula? Did you yeah. switch it up at all? No, we, uh, I think the only thing that changes with us is the cover. Yeah. <laughs> That's about really? it. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. It's like there's a timeless quality to it. Yeah. And the people love it. People are absolutely freaking out here. 
Oh. And it's absolutely clear the internet fans are into it. They've been lighting up our MTV.com website all week long, deciding what these guys are going to play. All right. When they return to the stage in just a few minutes, let's check in with the uh, at MTV Week votes. Uh, right now, there are a couple uh, classics in the lead. Back in Black and Highway to Hell are neck and neck right now. And we're counting votes up until the very last second. They're neck and neck. They're like 37, 35, something like that. So your vote counts, and we're counting them right on up to the bitter end. Vote at the at MTV Week area of MTV.com, and time is running out. Now, coming up, we're going to see what happened when one fan, get this, dropped almost 30 grand for a personal guitar lesson from Angus Young. And we're going to show you how you can get one for absolutely nothing over the internet. All that whoa, whoa. and another ass-kicking performance still ahead for ACDC on ACDC at MTV. Stick around. Does anyone here have an ACDC record? Yeah, I do. What, what is it? Back in Black. And what do you like about it? Why is that your favorite? That's guitar line of the century. Is that right? Yeah. song that you picked at mtv.com votes were tight up until the very very last minute during the commercial break oh my god he's shooting me with a fake gun during the commercial break back in black pulled ahead to 40 percent ladies and gentlemen acdc
Kentucky at MTV. He has just got an absolutely massive group of true hard rock fans taking over the MTV studio. Millions more tuned in and logged on to see ACDC perform their request on our stage in just a few minutes. I'm here with ACDC right now. The crowd is absolutely sick for it. It's unbelievable. Now, you guys basically invented the hard rock sound that a lot of people are biting right now. Uh, is, are there any current bands that you guys are listening to? Like the Corns and Limp Bizkits, that kind of thing? I think there's always each generation. There's always you know uh, you know young bands come along. You know. yeah. But uh, hell, the last band I ever heard, I think was in uh, I think was the Stones. I think. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. How about you, Brian? Uh, just, uh, I've been pretty busy, but there's a lot of great bands out there. That, yeah. You know, there's, you, you've got to get the, the kids come playing rock and roll in their own style, you know, yeah. taking it a stage further or whatever, you know. Exactly. So it's all good, good and healthy for the music scene, I suppose, you yeah. know, especially for rock and roll. You've got to keep that going. Yeah. Yeah. It's important. When you want it hard and sleazy, you come to us. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Influence so many musicians. I, an enormous percentage of people who come in here and, and uh, talk about their influences, your name comes up, yeah. and it's through all genres of music. Why do you think that is? What, what do you think about you? It could uh, be those big George. checks we send them. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> Never hurts. Well, it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but it's. I suppose it's uh, you know probably because we've been around the you know fair fair while. Right. So. You know, but we always had a lot of people, even from the beginning, who uh, would come up to us. People like Frank Zappa and, right. and different musicians, you know, and they would always say, "Hey, you guys are we're cooking." So, and, and people love you through, as I said, yes. through all genres. We uh, yeah. we found a stack of ACDC tribute albums. This that, microphone's uh, some bigger 80s than my metal. hat. I think. Pardon? <laughs> this thing's bigger than my hat. Yeah. It's <laughs> Uh, we, we have like 80s metal Bigger tribute albums to you uh, from Motorhead, Lemmy from Motorhead, Dee Snider. That's some industrial stuff. We got uh, punk bands like Zeke and the Super Suckers covering your stuff. Have you heard any of this stuff? Well, I know even in the beginning, uh, I think it was a guy who formed six Sex Pistols, wasn't it? I nearly yeah. said Sick Pistols, but um, I think he, you met him one night, didn't it? Glenn, someone. And he, even he said, you know, he wanted to be in a band like ACDC. So. Yeah. Yeah. I just hit the uh, super suckers when I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the best time to listen to super suckers, I'd have to say. We'll switch you some uh, some stuff. Now, if you, if you ever see it, like an ACDC tribute album in a store, are you inclined to pick it up? Is that the kind of thing you like to listen to, or does it freak well, you out? Well, I saw one from the American Armed Forces once, so I was inclined to pick up that. That was a good yeah. one, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, they done them all. They done Hell's Bells and, you know, Back in Black, Highway to Hell, yeah. you know? He's and it, it, it really... It, it really sounded good. Yeah. Mm. Speaking of Highway to Hell, over the commercial break, you never argue overtook... with American Armed Forces, I tell you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, it, uh, Highway to Hell overtook Back in Black over the commercial break yeah. as the uh, request from the fans at MTV.com. Hey. It's, uh, it's still going. It's down to the wire. Yeah. And now it's, uh, it's clear that a ton of people out there just admire the hell out of your music. Our, our studio audience is full of ACDC freaks. As a matter of fact, we've got one of the audience who'd like to uh, ask you a question. This guy here... Dude, what's your name? Josh. 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 From Seattle. So you're a fan. I try to be. Yeah, well, you're, you're succeeding. Look at you. My God. And actually, take off your hat. Okay. Show everybody this. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, my God. Let's see if we can get that. Yep, ACDC shaved into his head. All right. So what's your question for the band? Um, hello, Akadaka. Hey, how are you, you son? I was in Australia for the last tour. And uh, I just had a question. Do you have, plan to make a video of Stiff Upper Lip? Um, I think we are. Beginning next week, we are. Yeah. It's going to be very cultural. I think we're doing it here in New York City. Yeah. You know, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Hey! Yeah. I like the way that guy's thinking. Hell yeah! Gonna be that the, guy is going to be the in the mouth all afternoon waiting for you guys to show up. All right, now you guys are uh, obviously used to uh, taking audience questions, but this is at MTV Week. We're all about the internet this week. We got uh, a lot of questions from the people at home yeah. via the internet. Let's take a look at one of those right now. Hi, my name is Taryn. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Philadelphia. My question is for Angus. How did you get started wearing that schoolboy outfit? Was there a story behind it? Well, uh, my sister, she came up with the idea. You know, when I was younger, she thought I looked cute in the. Uh, schoolboy suit when I'd come home from school yeah. and I'd go in and play my guitar so she she came up with the idea she said it'd be it'd be a really cool thing 
yeah. you know, especially when Malcolm got yeah. me in the band, he, you know, I said, well, I suppose you want the school suit? He said, yeah, what did I, I should have joined for? <laughs> <laughs> and you so, stuck with it. I, I have, yeah, yeah. stuck with it. Yep. Excellent. Got it's it, Mark, consistent. Uh, mm. All right, now uh, you can use the internet, uh, obviously, to do more than ask questions yeah. to your favorite bands. Last week, an ACDC fan used it to bid, get this, almost $30,000 on a personal guitar lesson with, uh, with Angus Young. Yeah. Anything can happen on eBay, and this just goes to prove it. Yeah. Now, our camera crew dropped in on the big moment when you uh, got together with your extremely eager student. Let's take a look at that. Hi, I'm Wade Sickler from Seattle, Washington, and I was lucky enough to win a auction on eBay that Electra and ACDC were doing for a guitar lesson with Angus. It's been 20 years waiting, and I'm going to go meet Angus and the band. Uh, it doesn't get any better than this. I'm fans of some of the guitar players, uh, but uh, Angus is so distinctive and special, I, uh, uh, he just stands above the rest. This is pretty much a fantasy come true. We're here, it looks like uh, this actually is gonna happen. I still can't believe that I'm gonna sit down and uh, meet Angus and that he's actually waiting for me to meet him. How you doing? Very nice to meet you. Perfect. Oh, hello, we should. Yeah. Brian, Brian, very Are you nice to meet you. I'm That's the winner. Good I'm man. the crazy guy. I'm the winner. Have you got a guitar with you? Have you? No, actually, this is um, my SG. Is it? That I've had for about um, 17, 18 years. Ah, oh, jeez. And it's no cherry red one like you have. Here we go. Oh, wow. This one's yours. This is mine? Yeah, that one's yours. Cherry red one. So. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah. <laughs> With the yeah. agency pick and everything, yeah. thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks a lot. This is a picture of me about 17 years ago. I'm 34 now. What's your What's your favorite guitar face? Anything you expect to get out of this besides a good um, donation to a worthy cause? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll get to see you at your talent. Money comes and goes, but you only get to play guitar with Angus once. So yeah, okay, wait, let's get to it. Let's do it. Yeah, right? Thanks. And a little bit of finger flexing. Oh, my God. That's a lot of money to spend learning back and back. But, as Wade said, all the proceeds did go to charity. Right now, we have the man that paid that bill. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Seattle, star guitar pupil, Wade Sickler. <laughs> How you doing, Wade? Right there. Good day. Come on up here. Oh, my God. All right, now, uh, Angus Young is cool and all, but $28,000. That's an enormous amount of money, Wade. It was a good investment. <laughs> uh, a damn fine investment. Nobody's, uh, nobody's questioning that. Had to rob a lot of 7-Elevens for that, but yeah, uh, I, I couldn't think of any better way to spend the money. Yeah. Just a dream? It was a dream come true. I mean, I've been a diehard fan of the band for uh, 20 years, yeah. and I've been a guitar player for... Uh, um, nearly that much time and always wanted a cherry red SG so when yeah. Angus handed me one I really passed out but yeah. don't tell the band this but I actually would have paid a whole lot more Oh, <laughs> that's the sweetest thing you already knew all their songs I, by heart right? yeah but uh, you know what it was a little intimidating uh, sitting across from Angus with a guitar that was uh, imagine. Yeah, that was a little stressful what's your family think of this $28,000 bill for this you know what they think I'm nuts but they thought I've been nuts for uh, 17 years you yeah. know <laughs> on so just part of the Part of the trend. Uh -huh. My father uh -huh. and mother thought the same. <laughs> uh, and see, look where it turns out. So thanks a lot, Wade, thanks. for coming by. Congrats. Enjoy yourself. All right, folks, I'm going to let you all uh, in on a little secret at home. Now, there's another way to get your ACDC education, and this is for free, right over the internet. Just head over to the at MTV Week area of MTV.com and check out all the guitar tablature you're going to need to learn your uh, favorite ACDC licks. I'm actually uh, an aspiring guitarist myself. I'm horrendous, but uh, I'm going to have to go and check this out. You can learn songs like Back in Black, Easy. Highway to Hell. Just uh, check it all out. Actually, those songs are uh, currently hovering near the top of the online vote. Highway to Hell pulling ahead. It's now at 39%. Yeah, the exciting. people have made their voices heard. So uh, they're going to decide what ACDC's next performance is going to be. There's still a little time left to log on and make your vote count. When we come back, ACDC is going to play the online favorite on air, live in our studios. Don't go anywhere.